Ah, the 70s. A time of innovation. Like the creation of the first video games. But have you ever played them all at once? Well, that's what I decided to make. So I grabbed the four most popular games from the 70s. Pong, Asteroids, Breakout, and Space Invaders. And I'm going to combine them all into one game, and hopefully, I get something half decent. I want to do this before the new year, so I have roughly... Two days. Oh boy. The first things I added to the game are the paddle and ball from Pong. The next thing I made are the bricks from Breakout. It wasn't too difficult and now the ball has something to destroy. Now I want to add asteroids that would fly across the screen. So I made a sprite for the asteroid inspired by the original game and then added the asteroid and made it fly across the screen. I also wanted to add the screen wrap from asteroids which wasn't too hard to implement. All this is check if an object has gone off the screen and if so would be moved to the other side. I created an asteroid spawner that would occasionally spawn asteroids outside the screen, and to finish up the asteroids, I made them destructible and when hit, would split into two small copies of itself. That's all I was able to finish today, and I still have a lot of stuff to add. Let's just hope I can finish it all tomorrow. Okay, so today I still have a lot of stuff to do, so let's just get started. I first gave the paddle a wrap effect like the other objects, but smoothed it. I did this by creating two more paddles outside the screen and moving them around when the old paddle was outside the screen. I then created some bricks that take multiple hits to destroy. And then a simple game over menu that will be visible and end the game when the ball goes below the screen. Currently the game implements features from Pong, Breakout, and Asteroids, but it's missing one game. Space Invaders. So to add it to the game, I added two of its features. One, the bricks now shoot projectiles towards the paddle and when you touch it, it freezes your paddle for a few seconds. And two, the bricks will slowly fall down, and if they get too close to the paddle, the game ends. And unlike Space Invaders, I created a spawning system so that there would be an infinite amount of bricks. Now the gameplay is pretty much done, so all I have to do is some of the more boring stuff, so I'll go through that quickly. I added a score that would increase when the ball destroys an asteroid or a brick, I added post-processing, I then added some sound effects and music similar to that of the time period. I added a simple pause menu, I made a save a high score, and made the main menu. Now before publishing the game to itch, I want to add some finishing touches. First off, I made the brick bullets look like a snowflake and made a new sprite for when the paddle freezes. Now I want to add some more types of bullets the bricks can shoot, so I made a speed up bullet, growth bullet, and a shrink bullet. I then did some balancing and published the game at... 12.15. Damn. Wait a minute, I made the rules, so I'm not disqualified. Uh, hey guys, future me here. I updated the game, fixing some of the bugs and just making the game a bit better. You can play the game down a niche. So, that's all I wanted to say. Back to the video. So if you want to check out the game, there will be a link to it in the description of this video. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you the next time I decide to make another video.